Okay, I know Al because he picks up and delivers and helps us out. Just like that when we need help in this office. So we, we hear this is from us too. Okay, Alvin Jones is a stock clerk with the facilities unit at the Division of Training and Employment, where he's demonstrated his dedication by not only performing his work duties, but also serving as a messenger between county offices and assisting with the setup for meetings and events. Just as an aside, one thing you'll notice about all of the honorees is that they're always doing something else in addition to their job. That's the one thing I've found through the years that, that makes them uh, really um, earn this, uh, this uh, recognition. Over the last six years, he's managed to bring a smile and joy to work while going above and beyond to accommodate everyone he needs. Dealing with both employees and clients every day, Alvin is always willing to listen and compromise when necessary. He's grown professionally and become an asset to the division. It truly epitomizes the motto, putting as its handle first. Alvin, the Director for Trade and Employment. We're at 50 Sacramento Street. Um, I'm here today on behalf of my director, Adiba Ramos, who is here by the way this morning. Um, Al is one of those guys that you never, you know, people don't recognize how important he is until he's not there. Um, and if you work, come on, Monique, come on up. <laughs> if, um, you know, one of the things I love about Al is not only his dedication and his hard work, but he does it with a smile. And in the place that we work at when, you know, we service people, sometimes people tell me an attitude or sometimes people are angry about one thing or the other. Al has been consistent. And that is one of the mark, I guess, of someone who is not only dedicated, but cares and enjoys the work that he does. Um, I know that I was one of the first recipients of this award, and I know how it made me feel. Um, I felt proud, I felt acknowledged, I felt respected. And it made me work even harder. And I think this morning, Mr. Jones has the same sentiment. So, um, congratulations. I don't think I would be here if not for the whole entire team. Uh, it was a very, it was very, how can I say, it was a very experience for me having to work here because most of my life I'd have to deal with other people, uh, deal with professional people who's mostly, uh, I'm, I'm a musician in my main life, so I, you know, I don't really have to, to, to be too professional. So I think I was, I was taken in and given all the opportunities in the world, excuse me, I have the killer tooth thing, it's killing me, uh, excuse me, but uh, I think I was, I was taken in and given uh, opportunities that a lot of people, they kind of squander because they don't, they don't understand how to just keep the train going. You know, sometimes you have to, and it's funny, it's Black History Month. I think black people, we have learned that you have to keep the train going. You can't let anybody hold you down. You can't let anybody stop you. Uh, so I appreciate the team for even thinking of it because again, I don't say anything. I don't. I know you just gotta keep the train going. You gotta keep on moving. So I appreciate everybody. Everybody who showed up. I see you back there, Lisa. Sure. My sisters here. Appreciate all of you people. All of you, everyone, Joyce, uh, Joe, everybody. I, so many faces, I know I'm gonna get everybody. I know they're gonna be running gun with all this on the move. So thank you again.